the Christian community <laughs> is a global community and it includes whites, blacks, Hispanics, we know this. Irish. We know this. We, we. In Nigeria, what color is Jesus? That's what irrelevant. Uh, no, red herring. In Nigeria, what color is Jesus? No, what, what color is it in the Bible? Just, let's just deal with that the, the, the white Jesus. Yeah, let's deal with that. The very first picture of Christ that mm. I ever saw when I became a Christian mm -hmm. was not of a white Jesus. What was it of? It was of a black Jesus. Fantastic. Where's that one? Yeah. But just Google it. You can find it. If you, if you go to any Orthodox church in the Middle East, you will see Jesus not painted as a white man, he is painted as an olive-toned man, which according to Kemet philosophy means he's part of the tribe of Ham. Now, in terms... No, well, Whose philosophy? Callum. Speak to Callum. He's talking about all these groups having their origins in Africa. Mm, okay. Okay. However, the point that I'm making to you is that Jesus... When I, when I was in Japan, mm. Jesus was portrayed as Japanese. I know for a fact, because I've seen them with my own eyes, that the Coptic Christians portray Jesus as an Egyptian, Ethiopian Christians portray Jesus as, as a black, black African. Right, because that, because that Ethiopian Christianity, right, came before, like I said, the current form of Catholicized Christianity. No, that, I said this before And I, I corrected you then, and I'll correct you again. The Coptic form of Christianity, the Ethiopian form of Christianity, is Catholic. Because the thing that defines a Catholic church is the structure of bishop, priest, and deacon. Okay, but what 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 you are doing? Okay, talking about my faith. Yeah, but you, what you're saying is you look at Christianity as a which it is a but, global community. But it's not though. It is. It's not. It is. It's not though because you have different forms of. Shall Christianity. Shall I prove it to you? Yeah, but you have different forms of Christianity, though. Shall I prove it? Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a Christian, and I only want practicing Christians to do this. Will you raise your hand, please? Right, could you just tell me where you're from? What country? I'm half Sri Lankan, half English. Half Sri Lankan, half English. French. French. Nigerian. Nigerian. What country? French, British. French, British. London. London. English. Irish. Irish. English. Peruvian. The Christian, Peruvian. The Christian community <laughs> is a global community and it includes whites, Blacks, Hispanics, we know this. Irish. We know this. We, we. In Nigeria, what color is Jesus? That's not that's irrelevant. Uh, it's, 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 no, it's not red herring. In Nigeria, what color is Jesus? No, what, what color is it in the Bible? Congress of Catholic Believers in Abia, southeast of Nigeria, on Friday attended the inauguration of the tallest statue of Jesus Christ. The African tallest statue weighing 8.5 meters was erected at St. Aloysius Catholic Parish, Abija, owned by a rich Nigerian businessman, Obina Onwoha. My friend? No, no, I asked question, no, 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 we're not going to watch the My no, no, now, I'm, I'm not, Oya, no. listen to me. Okay, Oya, listen to me now. Oh yeah, what color is Jesus now? Exactly, you. I want to What color is Jesus now? Just answer the question directly. What color is Jesus in Nigeria? In your, the Bible. in your experience. Well, some people... How portrayed? In your... What uh, oh, what have I problem. seen? Okay, what have I seen? Yeah. I've seen, I've seen some, some people portray him as a white Jesus. Some people as black as well, yeah. So he's saying that there's black Jesus is in Nigeria. Are you saying there's black statues of Jesus in Nigeria? There may be some. I don't know Maybe. all of Nigeria. So all you of Nigeria. I've seen any Fair enough. No, your point's valid. I, I, I think that it, it is a mistake of the missionary movements of the past that, that the artistic representation of Christ should be European in Africa. I, for me, I find that embarrassing. But what colour you know, was he though, according to the Bible? He, he doesn't mention a colour. Doesn't mention a colour. Revelations 1 verse 14? 
that that's a, 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 a metaphorical imagery. Ah, no, in that same picture, he also has a sword coming out of his mouth yeah. and right? blazing like the sun. So, then, so you so, can't no, use no, that. No. That should be the image then. That if that is the only represented image, or that is the only biblical image we have of him. If you're going to make that argument, no, hang on, hang on. If, if that's the only, listen. If, make that point. If, we, if we go to the Bible, and he's described as a a bronze, a burnt bronze skinned man yep. with white woolly hair, yep. right? That should be the image that we're portraying of him. Right, right. And and with, and, with, with, and if he's got swords coming out of his mouth, then so be it. Okay. That is the only representation we have of him. Except this guy on the cross, this white except dude. Except Sarah comes Garvey. From where? Except Sarah Garvey does not dictate Christian art. Yeah, but the Bible should. No, Sarah Garvey doesn't. But the dictate. Bible should, though. Hold on. Sarah Garvey does not dictate Christian art. But the Bible Christian should. art has been debated heavily within the church. Mm. And we have come to a settled conclusion on this matter. What is and it? that settled conclusion is that Christ can be represented according to the people that Christ is saving. So if Christ is saving the white European, it is acceptable to represent him as a white European. If he If he is saving the black African, then he can be represented as a black African. If he is saving, exactly, he's he because Christ is relevant to all people. But you don't understand. An Sorry. art, an art is simply communication. But you don't understand the psychological those values. effects. Because okay, because you're, I disagree no, with white because, no, Jesus in yeah, Africa. I hear you, but we because, are on the same page. But because you're a white European, you don't understand the psychological effects of an African constantly seeing a white European as God or as a son of God. You don't understand those psychological effects. Now, when I asked this brother whether Jesus was white or not, no, did you see- in I, Nigeria, I, on, you I, said in, in Nigeria. Yeah, in Nigeria. And you were you talking see, about on, art. Listen, did you see how much he stuttered? Just to, just, uh, but, uh, but, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. You see, that's what we have to deal no. with, bro. We have no. to deal with that. No, the, because psychologically he's no. still trying so, to get. So I tell you what no, was really matter. happening there. It matters, bro. If, what what if was really happening there is he's a Christian. Matter. He wants to support me, and he doesn't want to help your argument. That's why he was stuttering. <laughs> That's what was really nah, happening. Nah, nah, that was what was really nah, happening. Nah, nah, nah. The fact of the matter that. is, Sarah. The fact of the matter is, yeah, Sarah, yeah, let's go, is, let's go. is you've took the baby out with the bathwater. I I agree with you. Mm. That the church should have been addressing your concerns and your questions. And the church needs to address the question of black identity. It really does. And it must do so by demonstrating the truth, the historical truth, that Christianity has been as much African as it has ever been European. Mm. And using the Coptic and the Orthodox Church to demonstrate that truth. As well as the fact I, I agree with that. that the church has been that. Middle Eastern. As much that. as it has been European. And it has been Southeast Asian as much as it has been European. Because you might not know this, but one of the apostles, St. Thomas, went to India and founded a church in India whilst the churches were being set up in Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. Mm. So my faith mm -hmm. is truly global, and the church is a home for all people, including black people like you. And it isn't in this, about. In this current form. It, the current form of the church is a global community. I've just demonstrated that. And I said, brother, I'm, am I superior okay. to you because I'm white? And am I'm not I superior, superior to, you? to you because I'm white. Am I superior to you because I'm white? So we've got <laughs> we've got three people from three different oh, parts of the world, and none not, of them think I'm su not, superior because I'm I've, white. I've never I've never asserted that you were superior. You're talking about a white Jesus. Yes, but I'm not asserting that you're superior. I'm, I'm not. Saying, I'm, I'm not claiming to be. Right, and and and, and I'm, I never said you were. But what I'm saying is the psychological effects of having the white Jesus. Okay, black people in Africa have had a white Jesus image. Ethiopians. This is what I'm saying. Okay. In this current form, the black people in Africa, with the coming of slavery, with the coming of colonization, have had a white Jesus imprinted, emblazoned within their psychology. And I agree, okay. let that go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Black people aren't even ready to let it go yet. They now, now hang on, they're yeah. not ready to let it go. Yeah. Because they've been, they, they, they have had that for so long that they actually believe Jesus Christ is a white man. I